Oh, okay. So, playing some Halo. And, uh... I don't know. I could look better, but... Whatever. I just read in chat, like, uh... Maybe 50k? Maybe I'll make 50k today. No one knows. Um... Yeah, I could fix my hair up a bit. And I could look better. I could like the way I look, but I don't particularly care. Looks like my, my own program just finished running, but yeah, I'm only going to game for like 30 minutes. Get like a, a quick game in. I should eventually start like the whole jogging thing, but... For some reason, I just, I just don't feel like it. Um, I don't know. Like it's just been rainy, and then like, I just feel like gaming. Like in general, I could just like, like point at like a picture I took like twenty years ago, and that that me. So I figured I'd go live just to drink my energy drink. Um, the snapback will be like super fast. I think it takes like three days for my cardio to like look legit. I hate like sharing my cardio with everyone else, like COVID kind of like opened up all the all the parks and that's all people do now like they sit there and they leisure where I used to have peace and quiet and my own space it's pretty annoying like sharing what I enjoy with people that don't actually appreciate it but now hopefully with like I guess like the advancements in like Apex Legends, maybe uh, the people will kind of like be pa uh, they'll be playing like Apex Legends at home a little bit more instead of like gallivanting. The the Alright, it's fine. It's it's a skewers game. Um, I thought like maybe if I played other games, like eventually they would fix Team Snipers and make it only only team snipers but that hasn't happened yet it's fine though i mean i have to i have to set the algo for for bungie um they have to watch me use like every single uh weapon in the game otherwise they won't be able to really program to like meet like my expectations so that's fair enough i guess like you can't fix something if i don't use it so I understand where they're coming from, honestly. What a noob, dude. I was like literally standing right in front of this guy, invisible, and he didn't even notice me. Like a, a Chad noob, a summer noob. He just got Halo just because it was the summertime. So the other day I was listening to um, Summer Jam by Underdog Project. And, I don't know, normally, like, I thought that was, like, cringe. But for some reason, having not heard it in a while, it was pretty good. And, uh, like, it was a follow-up to, uh, like, Icebox by Omarion. So, I mean, you got, like, the hot, the hot and cold aspect of, like, the entire game. Which is pretty fun. And, I mean, now, like, unrelated, but... Like, now on stream, like, I always have the right game title because of OBS, so it feels, like, super nice. Like, honestly, the, like, the whistle in uh, Summer Jam is kind of obnoxious, but I feel like it definitely has its place. So, what else was I thinking about? I mean, yeah, Summer Jam also has, like, two remixes. Well, three remixes. 
It has Dennis the Menace Club Remix, Dennis the Menace Dub Remix, and then Freeheads Remix. Um, I'm not sure which I prefer out of the, the Dennis and the Menaces, but I mean, that's open to interpretation. I'm pretty sure the Club Mix is uh, the better one, but I'm, I'm not sure which one I open first. I actually have uh, all of those summer jams and the remixes all on vinyl record, which is like perfect for like, like obviously when like my like massive gaming collection um, kind of gets to be like, uh, what what's that thing called? Um, synergy. Like obviously when I get like the synergy benefits of like, um, like free FPS, like archaeology majors who study like archaeology, um, kind of like at an advanced level, and like they could kind of combine their, uh, they could combine their like massive appreciation of like buses, um, with like my level of gaming and like my ability to. Um, kind of, like, set up, like, uh, like, Summer Jam on vinyl record. And, like, the benefits, uh, basically endless. Like, I, I gotta meet, like, archaeology majors, and obviously, like, the entire time, like, their plan was to kind of go as far away as possible, uh, from where all the jobs are. And it makes sense, because, like, obviously, they, uh, they, like, rush forward, like, some, like, random dude, uh, from, like, wherever, like, he just magically decides, like, yeah, bro, like, living in, living in, uh, Cali is, like, totally possible, bro. Um, so, yeah, like, obviously there are many of them, and, yeah, it's, like, totally possible, and feasible, and worthwhile. Especially now during COVID, like, you could, you can, like, like, study archaeology, like, on a surfboard if you want like you could do whatever you want honestly like nothing really there's like no limiting factors anything like that so yeah i mean i'm not sure what games i want to play later I, ca I can't believe people keep like reaching out to me and like oh bro like like the sims like why are you playing the sims like you didn't even beat Mega Man. And I really don't understand their Twitch chat. Um, like, I tried to, like, provide variety. I was looking at the Metal Earth uh, collection yesterday uh, in relation to, like, my Metal Earth Model 3D kit that I was building for the Master Chief helmet. And, like, I saw they have a Thanos glove. It's a golden Thanos glove. It's miniature. Um, so they actually have a Model 3 kit where you can build your own Thanos glove. Which I thought was pretty cool. I mean, they also have, um, like an Apache AH-64 helicopter, which looks super sick. I watched some dude build it. Like, he exclusively on YouTube builds, um, Model 3D kits for Metal Earth. And, like, he sits there and he has, like, he has, like, all these tools to, like, uh, build. And it's kind of impressive. They're such cool things, though, because, I mean, they're super difficult. They have, like, a level of challenge to each of them. Uh, but basically what he does is, um, he spends, like, $15 and then he gets a cool-looking metal thing. Like, I think metal is definitely the coolest kind of, um, material out there. And I'm glad I got the Halo kits back in the day when they used to have them. Um, they actually have, like, a Halo Scorpion tank and, like, a Halo helmet, which was impossible. The Halo Warthog, which I did mostly and was pretty easy as my first one. Um, and then they have, like, now they have, like, uh, like Marvel, Harry Potter, uh, what's it called? Game of Thrones. They have, like, a dragon from Game of Thrones, which looks kind of cool. They have dinosaurs. They have a T-Rex one. That one's pretty cool. Apparently, the T-Rex is easy, rated easy. They have, like, the Eiffel Tower. They have arch uh, architecture and all this other stuff, and it's kind of cool. 
honestly, like the ability for me to like respond to like a message on point uh, super fast is like such like a such a great like feature like like bro like I'm trying to message you like why aren't you at your PC bro like at all times I just like I, I need to like message you on Microsoft Teams bro like, and like I understand that like as like a Middle Earth uh, kind of purveyor. Cause like the only thing I want to do is um, like respond to messages, like unexpected messages too. Like that's that's my that's my that's my favorite thing to do. I love how like the one bungee dev is gonna be like, oh uh, what? You didn't notice that the, you didn't notice that the the maulers. Don't, uh... All right, so. Let me load up my next game. Close. Load up my next game. So, yeah, I'll be back in like a minute. All right. Yeah, so I'm back. I just had to uh, take care of business. Business. It's actually a a business part two. Um, by TS though, also, um, if you're unaware, I like, uh, the business, uh, part one, it's much, uh, better, kind of looks like a, uh, Bayonetta, um, bar scene mixed with, like, Devil May Cry, the music video. That's nice, um... I even got to hear like uh like on point like uh clutch. So that's always nice. Especially after uh moving up or whatever. 
So yesterday at work, I was listening to uh, like bears or whatever. Um, so, like kind of like fatter dudes, like they really don't eat properly, and like they're just like droning bears, and like they just like sit there and weigh a lot and take up a lot of space, and like listening to them, like obviously my voice kind of like vibrates a little bit, like vibranium, like uh, Avatar, and uh, or unobtainium or something. And their voices, like, they sit there, and they're like, <laughs> and, like, super heavy, like, and it's it's kind of annoying to listen to. And, like, they just do it, like, constantly. And, like, you're sitting there, like, 80 floors up, and they're just trying to, like, squeeze as much as they possibly can out of anybody. And you could tell that's what they do as, like, a human race. They just sit there and... They just camp and squeeze. Gain the lead. It was nice yesterday. Some dude he walked up to me, and he was basically like, uh, like he like surprised me. He's like, like so I'm like sitting there, like I hadn't even cleared my throat in like two minutes, and he walks up. He's like, eh, eh, eh. so like I responded to him, and like he was like super tall and stuff. And, like, obviously all the Twitch streaming I do, like, I, like, looked up and I was like... And, like, it was a pretty cool experience. Because, like, I still sound good even though, like, I didn't even need to clear my throat for whatever reason. I was like, yeah, bro. Um, that's kind of cool that you're, you're reaching out to me, but... And, like, he couldn't even tell, like, he's like, oh, dude, is this guy, like... This guy the boss and I mean maybe He's lucky that second shot took a while to press. That would have been right through his skull. His skullular archaeology architecture. Needless to say, I, I did dome my uh, Metal Earth Master Chief uh, model kit, like, mid-build, so I couldn't help myself. Yeah, it was just, like, a difficult build. I, uh, in general, did not enjoy it. But, uh, I mean, even with clippers, that would have been annoying to do. The pieces were super difficult. But, like, the Warthog was fun. So today, I'll... I mean, yesterday, obviously, I got my Sims 1 uh, to play on PS2. And, I mean, that game was kind of underwhelming, to be honest. Uh, I did enjoy the jazz music and stuff. Uh, but I'm, I do remember it back in the day being more fun. And, uh, yeah, basically, um, I was playing the game and, like, I don't even remember having to sit there and ask, like, the mom for, like, money eight times. I don't recall that as a thing. Which is interesting, because that means, like... The game was so enjoyable or I was so like into gaming and stuff that like that wasn't like an ask. Um, that wasn't like pain, that wasn't exhaustion, that was just plain old fun. I guess maybe like um, maybe like the, the simoleons kind of taking like like going to the bathroom and shit like probably like was like super hot or something. I don't I don't even know. Like, I feel like people playing the Sims game, like, that's like them being like weirdos. Like, I remember, like, um, no scoops. Like, I remember, like, um, like from Blockbuster, my brother used to rent, like, obnoxious DVDs, and, like,
That was pretty funny. Like, I feel like the entirety of, like, pre-high school kind of, like, movie watching was like, oh, bro, it's American Wedding. <laughs> or, like, yeah, bro, it's, like, uh, Euro Trip. Or, like, yeah, bro, it's, um, it's, uh, not another teen movie. Like, that's, like, the only movies they watch or bore at. Or, uh, Club Dread. Club Dread was pretty sick. Um, I forget about Club Dread a little bit. Uh, 47 to 47. Active camo Looks available. like... Lost the lead. I couldn't loop that around. Yeah, so I guess that's the the last game. That was like a, a quick little quick little whatever. <laughs>